I had a question recently about aligning text objects. And as I thought about it, I realized there were actually several questions and that it would be a whole lot easier to make a movie uh, rather than uh, try to explain it in text. So the first part of the question is aligning text objects relative to each other. And that's easy to do, um, either using the magnetism for aligning objects vertically like this, or that same magnetism works when you want to align objects horizontally. And if you want more space between them, it's easy enough to select one of them and use the arrow key to move the other left and right, or similarly for up and down. But up and down, we actually have a second solution that in many instances is a better one. So if I want to align this paragraph with this button and this measurement vertically, I can select all three, hold the Shift key, and press Return. And the nice thing about Shift Return is that if I press Return repeatedly while I'm holding the Shift key down, or even hold it down, then I get nice even spacing between the objects that are aligned on the left-hand side. So that's easy enough for aligning objects within one page but often we want things to look similar from one page to the next. So how do I put a text object in the exact same position on different pages? Well, here's page two, and if I want to use this same title position on page three, I can do that quite easily. In fact, the same technique even allows me to move graphics as well as, uh, as well as text objects. All I need to do is select these objects, copy them, go to the next page, and paste. So now when you go from one page to the next, the objects are in exactly the same position, and I can do, uh, I can do whatever I want now to edit this, this title, but it will always be in the same position as on the previous page. So that's fine if I don't yet have the title here on this page. But if I already have a title, for instance on page 4, aligning existing text objects from page to page, well this title's in the wrong spot and I could kind of try to guess where it goes, but I'm pretty unlikely to get it correct. So how do I get text objects to match from page to page? Well, what I can do is use the text tool to create a new caption, my alignment gauge, and I'll use that alignment gauge to get the title on page on the next page exactly lined up with this one. And I do it with the same magnetism technique. I use magnetism to put the alignment gauge magnetized exactly above my existing title. I copy it. I go to the next page. I paste it. And now I can take the title, align it immediately below the alignment gauge, and my titles are perfectly aligned. So that's fine if uh, for a single text object from page to page. Having done that alignment, I'll get rid of my uh, alignment gauge. I don't need them anymore. And I've got nice alignment between the titles. So far, so good. But what if it's not a text object at all? One of the times that this problem of alignment comes up quite frequently for me is when I have a graph. And I realize that my graph on this page and my graph on this page have the axes moving back and forth. And that doesn't look so good. It looks even worse if I hide the grid. And we can see that the graph is just jumping. The axes are jumping as I go from page to page. And I don't want that. Well, one thing I could do, I suppose, is I could select the origin on each page and I think the other one was up somewhat from there. And then I can go to page 6 and say, well, that one needs to move down some. 
And that's very laborious and difficult, and I don't like doing it that way. So when I confront this problem, I decide now it's time for a custom tool. It's really a very simple tool. It's a tool that contains two points, a motion button, a movement button that moves point A to the target, and a button to select the target. And I'll show you how this works right now. Let's make the tool first. I'll select all these objects. I'll create a new tool. This is my alignment tool. We'll show the script view. And we're actually going to make uh, the point target one that automatically matches the sketch object. Now that I have this tool, here's all I need to do to perfectly align those quickly. And I try to keep this tool handy in my toolbox so I can use it anytime I need it. So here's what I do. I put the target right where I decide I want the origin to be. I copy it, and then I paste it on one page, and I paste it on the other page. Now I use my tool, my alignment tool, to line up the origin with my target, and I can select my target and delete it. Go to page 5, use the same tool, click the origin, back to the arrow tool, move, select the target, and delete it, and now my graphs are perfectly aligned. So those are the several techniques that I've found very useful for getting things to line up nicely from one page to another.